Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. So you might have heard that Microsoft will be retiring their own HTML engine, Edge HTML, and will base the next versions of Edge on the Chromium engine, called Blink. Obviously, this is a bad thing for the web in general, since Google, through that engine, will control more and more market share, and can start implementing features that other browsers won't support, in a throwback to the darkest days of Internet Explorer. I think it's time to take a look at some of the browsers available on Linux that do use the Blink engine. Chrome and Chromium. Obviously, you know these guys. Chrome is based on Chromium, which is itself open source, and they both use the Blink HTML engine. The main difference between the two are codec support, since Chrome comes with AAC, H.264 and MP3 support, as well as the Flash plugin and a few restrictions on which extensions you can install on Chrome. They both are pretty speedy, but gobble enormous amounts of RAM to deliver that performance. They both look mostly the same and support a plethora of extensions to improve and extend your web browsing experience. Opera Opera used to have its own rendering engine, called Presto, but they canned it in 2013 and moved to Blink, Google's fork of WebKit. Opera has some nice features though, such as a built-in ad blocker, a picture-in-picture -picture mode, as well as a battery saver and a way to make browsing faster by compressing images on the web pages. It can also be customized with themes and can be synced with an Opera account to keep all browsing history, favorites, passwords and open tabs on all your devices. It's a well-rounded proposition, even though it doesn't integrate all that well with the Linux desktop. Vivaldi this browser has been created by Opera's co-founder, and was supposed to bring a complete browsing experience for heavy internet users and Opera users which were unhappy with the migration from the Presto engine to Blink, which removed a few features at the time. Ironically, Vivaldi also uses the Blink engine. Its integration with Linux is subpar and it does look pretty alien compared to other native applications, even though it supports themes. It comes with a bunch of tools such as integrated notes, a screenshot tool to capture a whole web page, and a handy image information panel that lets you know a few metadata about the image displayed in your browser. You can also sync your browsing data between devices with a Vivaldi account. Brave. This one might be less well known. It's aimed at the privacy-focused crowd and has been created by the co-founder of Firefox and the creator of JavaScript. Brave is based on Chromium and is advertised as two times faster as Chrome on the desktop since it blocks ads and trackers. Brave also implements a reward system for publishers, where users can make micropayments and reward publishers with blockchain-based tokens. Brave tries to offer a new approach to reward content creators on the internet, one that is not based on ads. Since its market share is pretty low, it has not succeeded yet in bringing this new model to the major web publishers, though. So, what if you don't want to use any browser based on the Blink engine? Well, there are a few options. You could use Firefox, it has good system integration on Linux, is now as fast as Chrome or almost since the Quantum project started to land, and is backed by a company known for trying to uphold a free and secure web. If Firefox is not to your liking, and your browser needs are more simple, any WebKit-based Linux native browser can do the trick. Epiphany, also called GNOME Web, can work with support for ad blocking, syncing with a Firefox account, and speedy browsing. Falcon is a great option for KDE users as well. Neither of these will be as fast as Firefox or Chrome though, but if you value system integration over speed, they are very good options. There are not many other options apart from these, and it shows that the web is starting to be dominated by one rendering engine, which has always been a bad thing for the web in general. Google already is under suspicion of making YouTube slower on non-Chrome browsers, and they start to implement some features that are not part of the W3C standards, making other browsers and engines play catch-up to display the Google websites correctly or use all the functionality. I won't pester you to use Firefox over Chrome, but if you value an open web driven by good standards, I can only recommend you try some of the non-Blink-based options first and see if you like them. If not, well, everyone is free to choose the right tool for their job and their uses. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye!